Hey, hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to some more Pokemon action. I'm your host Ryan, and today we are moving on with this team. Um, it's I... I don't know. I, I played the last episode pretty poorly, not gonna lie. Ooh, let's get that mouse off the screen. Um, but I, at the same time, I mean, like, what really could I have done? Um, so this is an interesting team. It's Audino, Sylveon, Gengar, Tyranitar, Amoongus, and Marshtomp. Um, peculiar, for sure. I think I'm going to start Jellicent and Metagross. No. No, 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 no. I don't want... I, I'm going to start Mr. Mime. Um, and then I'm going to bring Altaria in the back and Marowak. Yeah, I think that's going to work pretty well. Um, that, that Amoongus from last episode was really specially bulky. They're usually physically bulky, and I'm kind of surprised that didn't kill. Um, the double into didn't kill. I'm very surprised that didn't kill, and that did throw me off. But, yeah, if, if I got that kill there, that would have been really... I wonder if it was a roll or not. If it was a roll, I'm going to be super salty. I honestly think rolls should not exist in the game. Uh, they don't add anything other than suspense and mystery. Which, in a competitive game, is not something you want, so, I don't know, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is actually a really good lead for me. I'm very, very happy about this. Um, not gonna lie, I'm actually very happy about this. Um, I'm gonna go for the Zen Headbutt onto the... No, actually, I'm gonna just Meteor Mash the Tyranitar, and I'm gonna go for Trick Room. I was gonna Zen Headbutt the Gengar, but then I was like... I have Assault Vest on my Metagross, so I don't really have to worry too much about the Metagross, and if Tyranitar wants to protect or switch out, this is totally cool by me. Um, plus I might get a plus one attack, and I'm totally down with that. I really like Metagross. Metagross is cool. So he's gonna sludge bomb me. That should take me down to Citrus. Yes, good. So I'm gonna. Oh, he poisoned me. That's not good. Um, but I like when it takes me down to Citrus because then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna survive whatever the Tyranitar wants to do. Dragon Dance. Beautiful. So that's like that's a free turn for me. Um, that's a very free turn for me. I should kill him actually. Most likely. Close enough. Close enough. Um, and I do get the Trick Room off. So, honestly, I'll take it. That That's exactly how I expected... Well, not exactly how I expected that to go. Uh, getting poisoned in the sand with Mr. Mime is not good. However, the sand plus the... Plus Gengar means that it doesn't have Focus Sash, which means a Zen Headbutt will kill it. So I'm going to go for Zen Headbutt onto the, the Gengar, and I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam. Which should also take out the Tyranitar. And that should be turn two for me. Unless he switches. But if I remember correctly, he doesn't have a switch into Zen Headbutt from Metagross, so I'm okay with that. I am okie dokie with that. Now, Amoongus can come in and spore me. And if that happens, I'll just be like, well, pfft, I don't care. Because, um, what's an Amoongus gonna spore? Like, nothing really is gonna kill my Metagross, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, so Zen Headbutt comes off, if that does kill, which it does, that means this March Stomp is going to take a Dazzling Gleam straight to the face. I don't know why he has a March Tomp. Um, of all things to have, he has a March Tomp. We'll see how bulky it is. Um, I don't think that thing's running Eviolite either, so that's a little peculiar. Peculiar? That was a very weird way to say that. Um, but we'll see what he brings in here. I might just go for a Dazzling Gleam again. Um, because that did a pretty decent chunk. Uh, so let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna get the Audino. Audino does not scare me. I'm actually more scared of the Marsh Tomp. So I'm gonna go for a um, uh, Zen Headbutt on the Marsh Tomp and a nice and powerful Dazzling Gleam. And that should finish off the Marsh Tomp. Now, if the Marsh Tomp goes for like Earth Power or Earthquake, I should be able to survive that. Because um, again, it's, it's a Marsh Tomp. I'm pretty sure I can survive a Mega Swampert's Earthquake. So, I, again, I don't understand why there's a Marsh Tomp. What does Marsh Tomp do? Especially since it's not running Eviolite. If it was running Eviolite, it would have taken that um, Dazzling Gleam a little bit better than that. Because, again, my Mr. Mime doesn't have much in the way of offense. 
So that's a little peculiar. Um, he's gonna go for protect. Oh, with the Marsh Tom or with the Audino. Okay. Um, curse. Okay, that's interesting. That should still do a pretty. I should still maybe kill it. I don't know. It's only plus one. No. Wow. Okay. Sheesh. Um, that did a lot more than I thought it would. Okay. Or a lot less. Um. Eesh. I don't know what to do here. Well. It's just an Audino. You know, I'm trying to think like what an Audino can do, and I can't think of anything scary, so I'm just gonna do the same exact play again. Dazzling Gleam, Zened, but he might kill me with an Earthquake here, which I'll take, I don't care. Um, just gonna withdraw the Audino. I don't, I don't understand that, so he's gonna switch into the Tyranitar, so if he doesn't go for Earthquake here, or if he does, he might go for Earthquake, actually. Yeah, okay, so he's just gonna kill off his Tyranitar. Um, but that should not kill my Metagross. No, yeah, no. Again, it, it's a marsh tomp. I'm not. I don't under. I don't know why I should be scared of a marsh tomp. Um, and right here, I could probably just bring in my Altaria. Not even Mega of all. Oh no, he just dies to the Zen Headbutt. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll just bring in Altaria here, and we'll just go for Hyper Voices. Um. And that's pretty much it. I. I don't. Again, I don't understand the marsh tomp. I don't understand why. Why that's why. I just don't get it. So it, it's like it's like. It's kind of like the reverse of using a Dusknoir. Why are you using a Dusknoir? I don't get it. it. It makes no sense. Okay, so we're gonna Meteor Mash, we're gonna Mega Evolve, Hyper Voice, done. That should, well, maybe not one hit KO in this turn, but it should do enough damage where it should most likely die. I I'm, ho I'm expecting it to die this turn. Oh, okay, it's Fire Blast. Will this kill me? I know that's a weird weird question okay it is because uh, it's an audino i mean it's not like this thing's very offensively inclined and i do have um assault vest but that's okay that did a lot less than i thought it would <laughs> it actually did a lot less than i thought it would but that's okay that's okay that's okay because again it's just an audino i don't really i'm not afraid of an audino it could go start going for call mines if it wants i don't really care so bone ring hyper voice and that should be a kill right this thing's definitely, definitely specially defensive. Either that or Altaria just sucks. Um, but either way, that is the battle. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to catch you guys at the next episode. Peace.